Hello Makers! Today we'll be making a wonky pinwheel block featuring sage fabrics. This block is great for using leftover scraps from previous projects. And the scrappy look adds to the beauty of this block. Here's what you'll need to get started. To make sure your scraps are large enough for this project, make sure they are about 3 by 5 inches long. Take a 3.5 inch square from fabric A and draw two lines with a fabric marking pen on the wrong side of the fabric from one corner of your square halfway between the opposite sides of your square. Repeat this process for all 3.5 inch squares. Grab a scrap fabric and place it right sides together to your square. Fold over square on the line you drew and place it one fourth inch away from the edge of your scrap fabric. Repeat this same process with the other scrap fabric and sew to the other side of your square. After you press your piece, it should look like this. Use your three and a half inch square as a guide to trim your piece. Repeat this process for the remaining 3.5 inch squares from fabric A and your scrap pieces. You will need 16 of each of these blocks to complete a 12 inch finished block. Once you have all your squares complete, it's time to place your rows. For your first row, alternate the direction of your fabric A corners. For the second row, flip the direction and continue placing your blocks like this until you create four pinwheels inside your block. Sew your rows together and join your rows. Make sure to press seams in alternating directions to make sure your seams will match up nicely. Your wonky pinwheel block is complete. Feel free to share your quilt block creations on social media using the hashtag AGF Quilt Block Collection. Thanks for watching. For more fun sewing videos, subscribe to the AGF channel. Leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, happy sewing!